Hey everyone and welcome to my channel. My name is Kristen and today we are in Sulani and I am attempting to build something I have never built before and that is uh, some pier shops at Sulani Beach and I had a lot of fun building this. I started it just playing around. I really had no idea what was going to come of it and the more that I built on it, um, I just, I was really impressed with it, to be honest. I thought it turned out so good. Um, the only regret that I have is the fact that I did not really play test it as I was building it. And I ended up play testing it or starting to play test it halfway through. And um, I had a hard time figuring out how to make this all functional on um, a specific lot type. I did not know what lot type I should use for this. I went back and forth between like just a bar. At first I was just gonna set it as a beach and then I like just it dawned on me halfway through the build like if this is a beach they're not going to use the bar. The Sims are not going to use the bar and they're not going to be shopping at the shops. And I really wanted to give it that realistic like feel. And so I, I literally had no idea what I was going to do. And I kind of went into panic mode a little bit because of it. Cause I mean, it just, it was turning out so cute and I, I really wanted to be functional. So, um, instead of just scrapping the build, like that did come across my mind. But I decided not to because, you know, I would have wasted all of this time and effort for nothing, really. And so I definitely didn't want to scrap it. Even if it wasn't functional, I was just going to make that perfectly clear to you guys as, like, I was doing the voiceover. Like, yes, this pretty much is all just set dressing. Um, your Sims can't use anything. But I am happy to say that that is not the case. Um, this is functional, um, probably, I'm trying to think, yeah, I guess it would be 100% functional, like everything actually works. And what I ended up doing was setting the lot type as the boba and tea, or boba thrift shop, you know, with the high school years pack. So I am sorry for those of you that don't have that pack. Um, you could set it as a bar. You can set it as just generic and if you set it as a bar, that's probably what I would recommend so that they can actually at least use the bar and then um, everything else would just be for show. But if you do in fact have the high school years pack, then this whole thing is going to be functional. So that's really exciting. And looking back now, I totally forgot to put terrain paint or not terrain paint, but flooring ceiling. I forgot to put something on the ceiling, so it's just white. I'm gonna have to go back and edit that before I actually post it on the gallery, just because, yeah, looking back, the white does not look too good. It definitely needs to have that same wood flooring on the ceiling. I think it would look better. It would look more like wooded and like islandy, I feel. So um, that's definitely something I'm gonna have to take note of. But the outside of these, um, I actually really enjoy the shape. It changes a little bit, um, not really much in the front. I end up just adding some extra, like, like an extra square on the side. <laughs> I just put an extra like little wall on the side and to make it a little bit bigger on the inside. So I actually had more room to do things. And this little building over here is actually the bathroom that has all the vegetation around it. And I end up putting like, I think two bathroom stalls in there. And so one's like a regular one and then I made one a little bit bigger and I thought, you know, that would be like the the handicap showers in real life. That's kind of what I was imagining. And then I also put one of those changing tables, the public changing tables that came with growing together. I put that in the bathroom and I thought that was like a fun little touch so that you could totally bring your infants here and you have a place to change their diaper. Um, this is not 
a limited pack build whatsoever. I went crazy. It was really fun though. Like I was in like the mood to go to the beach and I, I've been to the beach a couple times this year. <laughs> and so I really wanted to build something like in Sulani. Actually, before I even built this, I built a really cute mermaid house. Like it was for like a little mermaid family and it was so cute, right? And then I thought I was recording the whole thing, but uh, for some reason it didn't like capture my screen. Um, so yeah, I literally built it all for no reason. I really should just post it on the gallery anyways. I mean, I have a whole house that's built <laughs> and I don't, you know, what's the point of just like not posting it. And so I need to go on there and actually post that. And um, right now, you see how I'm pulling out those debug like umbrellas? I actually put them over the tables and I thought that was like a really fun realistic touch that I did. And I made some of them open and some of them closed because if you go to the beach all the time, you will see that half the umbrellas are all pretty much cl uh, closed a lot of the time. And so people just open it when they come up. And so that's, you know, I thought that was kind of cute that I did. And now I'm just putting some landscaping around in the front. And I wanted it to be like a really tropical type of landscaping. And I think it turned out pretty cute. I did a lot of like red and orange and yellow. And then a lot of like palm trees and whatever those are. I, I don't remember what those are called, but like the little palm frond looking plants. Um, I really love using those. They add a lot of like detail to landscaping that I I really like. It, it's uh, definitely a beachy plant <laughs> or like a beachy piece of landscaping, you know. Um, and oh, now I am working on the bathroom. So I, I was going to do just three different toilet stalls and then a sink out here and call it a day. But... After I built, like I put the seats and stuff, I was like, you know what? I need to add a shower. I mean, what's the beach without a shower? People, you know, it sucks not rinsing off after being in the sand all day in the salt water and stuff. So um, I, here I am trying to add that shower and something about the bathroom just was not looking right to me. It, it this area was too small I didn't have really anywhere to put the sink and so eventually I decide to open up that one bathroom oh and then I pull out that that changing table and that is when I decided I need to update the bathroom and just do like one bigger bathroom with the shower and the changing table and then one like smaller bathroom just with the toilet and so once I thought of that and I put it all together, I thought it was really cute. And so that is pretty much that when it comes to the bathroom, there's not much else in there. I wanted to keep it very island looking. I didn't want to add like, I didn't want to make it a lot of tile and like white walls and white floor. I like the wood, like the brown wood look, so. And here I am, I guess I didn't get quite halfway through the build before I ended up having a sim come and like test some areas out. It's probably about a quarter of the way in. And I, I came to realize that these are just super small. And so I just needed to bring a sim here. And so each of the different buildings have something different on the inside. So this is a little bar area. And then I put some tables on the outside and I use those like plastic chairs that came for uh, came with for rent. And I thought it was a cute touch. I end up changing all the swatches and I make them all different colors to match the outside of the buildings. The buildings are very colorful. And also something else that I did, I wanted to make the doors look like they're open all the time. Um, if you ever go to like a beach pier in real life, a lot of the time they will have like open doors so that you just walk in. And I, I really wanted to keep this kind of true to real life. And so I ended up like putting like a wall there and then I put the windows from Island Living that are that have those 
like gaps in it, you know? And so I put those on the wall and then I deleted the wall and now it just looks like that's the door that's open. And I did not come up with that myself. I learned that a long time ago watching some of uh, one of the game changers on like when the Sulani pack first came out. I seen someone do it and don't ask me who now. <laughs> that was so long ago. I don't remember. Uh, but it was one of the very talented ones. That's where I learned a lot of like my building tips and tricks and stuff was just watching like speed builds back years ago. I don't really watch it much anymore. It's, it's, you know, I'd rather just play the game myself than watch it, you know, <laughs> but, um, that doesn't mean that people don't make some really talented stuff because they do. Um, but now uh, you can see what I meant by adding like an extra like wall to one of the buildings. I end up doing that to all of the buildings just because I thought it looked weird having it on just some, but not all. And then all of them really needed to get a little bit bigger anyways. <laughs> and so what I ended up doing with this bar, um, I'm sure you've seen it. I put like a wall there where the bar is and then I put the spandrel at the top of that I just thought it added like an extra piece of decor that it needed like I wanted these to be really decorated and honestly they are like I decorated them a lot I think it looks really good it looks like you know what you'd actually see in real life if you went to like a beach pier with like shops and stuff um I love going to beach piers in real life. Like it is so fun and looking at like all the different shops and stuff and the knickknacks in there. And then you can also get like ice cream there. There's a, there's bars, there's, you know, food places. It, you can get some really good saltwater taffy at beach pier shops. Like I, that's one of the must do things in my opinion, if you like taffy and you like saltwater taffy, then it, it just tastes better by the beach. I don't know if it's the salt from the water or what exactly it is, but it it definitely does. Um, and yeah, so I also put like the flip-flop lights in there. I thought that was a cute touch and I put like the bar back. And so since this is set as the Boba thrift shop, um, you you have to hire the bar yourself uh the mixologist so that kind of sucks and then i also put like a food place right next to it and i couldn't make it a restaurant because then it would be just a restaurant um so i ended up just putting like one of those like fish and chip you know vendor stalls there and then you have to hire the vendor yourself so it's it's not ideal but that is not my fault um that would be the fault of the sims <laughs> they make it impossible to do multifunctional venues and hopefully that's something that will come in the future um i would say that sounds like something that would be hard to do but they've done a lot of stuff that they said they would never be able to do like horses they brought horses in and they did the four rent pack where you could make like apartments and stuff and so never say never i guess um, there's always a chance that they will bring things so i think like multi-functional like realist not real estate multi-functional real t retail uh is definitely needed i think a lot of people would get a lot of fun out of that and I ended up shifting over here to the beach and I really want to make it a family oriented looking like beach. Like people are coming on their own and setting up their own beach stuff. That's what I was envisioning. And I went back and forth between this and just putting actual like the same lounge chairs right next to each other and it would look more like organized and I just, I wanted it to look like a realistic beach. <laughs> and so I ended up just putting like, yeah, little groups of chairs and umbrellas that makes it look like different people are here and they have their stuff set up. And 
like each of them I tried to give their own little group of stuff like these chairs here I ended up putting like a pet bed there so I figured it would it was like a cute couple or a couple of friends and they brought their dog and so I put the pet bed and the food bowl and I also end up putting like oh I think this I definitely don't put the fish and chips out now. I don't, it's not the fish and chips, but it's the, I did some sort of fish place. Like I, I wanted to keep it like seafood related. And, um, but I do that like later in, in the build. It's, it's not anywhere close. And here I am thinking about putting like actual lounge chairs that look like they belong at the beach. And then like the other ones, it's like a mixture of both, but I don't really like the way that looks. I end up putting a couple of the brown lounge chairs, I think, in the back by all the landscaping that's kind of blank back there. I make that like a little area that has like a little tent above it. Like not really a tent, but like, I get, I don't, you, you guys will see. Once we get over there, I'll, I'll show it to you guys. Um, it's like one of those, that thing. Um, I end up putting that there and yeah, here I am moving the lounge chairs. And so I figured that probably was an area that's just there. That's not something that people actually bring themselves. That's just there. So once that's taken up, then the Sims are on their own. They have to bring their own chairs and that's what everyone else did. And then I also put like the coolers and stuff next to the chairs and... I think I did a good, pretty good job of making it look realistic yet cute at the same time. And I also put some bikes out there. Um, I battled with what to put in that corner there. I don't know if I end up putting anything. Maybe a trash can or two. I Yeah, that's what I end up doing. And those bikes are playable. I mean, I guess you guys probably know that already but I got those out of the eco lifestyle pack and I thought they looked really beachy and they're super cute I really like the bikes that came out of the eco lifestyle pack um they definitely look homemade <laughs> I guess like I don't know is that like supposed to be wood on the outside and then they paint on it that's kind of what I thought and so here I am with this little group of chairs. So I kind of thought that this was a couple of like college friends, <laughs> maybe a couple of frat guys or something. They're at the beach having fun. And I put like some energy drinks there or sodas or whatever. And then I wanted to put a radio and I put a little football because that's a popular thing. People really like throwing like footballs or any balls really out at the beach. It's, it's a big thing. I would have put a volleyball thing if we had one but the Sims team does not have one. And I'm just looking for some other like little decor pieces to put out there. And I also pulled out those vending machines. I don't remember which pack that's from. Um, yeah, I, we have vending machines in a couple of packs now and so I have no idea which one that was. And I pulled out that photo booth I really wanted to add a photo booth, guys, but I ended up, I just ran out of space. <laughs> and the little um, store thing, I guess you'd call it, the little building the <laughs> that I put the photo booth in, I ended up making that like a jewelry shop. And I used the Crystal Creations pack for that. And that is not... Your Sim can't actually buy things out of there. I more so had the idea that they would sell their stuff there, that maybe they were a jewelry maker and so they would sell their creations at that shop. That's pretty much your Sim can go come here and sell some stuff. And I, I did not play test that. Um, I know for a fact that it would work. I just don't know if you'll have like a lot of Sims come. So that I'm curious about that. I'll, I'll have to test that out myself. And I do the boba tea counter. I wanted to do ice cream. I thought that you would be able to get the little ice cream like vendor stall that came with the, um, came with the high school years pack. I thought you would be able to get that and put it in a building and like be able to use it, but I could not find that anywhere. Um, is this something that you guys were able to find? 
Is it in there and I just missed it? Or is it only available in the pier at the high school year's town? Uh, Copperdale, I think is what it's called. Is it only available there, I wonder? If that's the case, then that definitely is very lame. That's like, why would they do that? Uh, they do a lot of things that people question. And so I guess it shouldn't surprise me. But I was able to find the boba counter at least. And so your Sims can come here and get some boba at the very least. And then the thrift stall for some reason. I don't know. Like your Sims, it's, it's pretty cute. Uh, when you actually play here, the Sims that come, they actually like look through the clothing racks. And so I thought that was cute. I mean, it definitely is all functional. You just have to, like I was saying, hire the vendors yourself. But as far as the boba counter goes, the person will come once you come. They'll like spawn themselves. And so um, you can buy that there without having to add anything. And the thrift store counter, for some reason, the person doesn't come behind there. I'm not sure why. But honestly, to use the thrift stands, I don't think you need someone at the counter. Like, I think the the clothing like racks only the only functionality that they have is creating the trendy looks is is that right or am I missing something um, are they actually supposed to buy clothes I don't think that was the case and I was disappointed about that I really liked how the Sims 2 you had to actually buy clothes like you had to use your simoleons to buy the clothes. And I thought that was a really realistic touch. I'm not sure why they did away with that in The Sims 3. And we haven't had it since The Sims 2. But I mean, I could be wrong. I could be missing something. I could not be doing it correctly. And I think there is supposed to be someone that spawns behind the thrift counter. And I'm not sure why it's not doing it here, but it will still have Sims and townies come and look at the clothing racks and so I mean at least there's that it's it's still functional um, and I also put signs on each of the different stores I wanted it to look like that was the you know the main sign for the little store and so the bar has like the tiki bar sign and then some of the clothing shops I tried to make it look like actual like a clothing store sign as best as I can and then I put the boba tea shop over the boba like, or the boba tea sign over the boba shop. And I thought it was fun little touches. And that red one right now, I was going to make it just something that was like extra. There was not even going to be anything functional in the red one, but I decided against that. And I ended up putting a restaurant in there. Not really like a restaurant. It's not like a playable restaurant because this is not a restaurant lot type. But I end up just putting one of those like shack stalls in there. And so that's another thing. You'll have to have like your Sam hire a vendor themselves to actually be able to buy food from there. And you know, that's not ideal. Don't get me wrong. That's not ideal at all but it's better than it not being functional at all. What I would do is just have my Sim hire the vendor and then just pay my Sim back. Like I think it's like a hundred simoleons to hire a vendor and then yeah, I would just cheat and add that back to my Sim's funds and then it's like it never happens, right? <laughs> and at first I was thinking about these um, stalls from the four rent pack but I was playtesting this and I could not figure out how to make the vendor stall people appear. Um, it's definitely weird. They never came, not even at night. I figured maybe it's because it's during the day. Maybe they have to come at night. And they just never spawned. And I hired a vendor. I tried, you know, multiple different things and it never worked. And so I had to do away with that idea, sadly. And I actually ended up cutting a portion of this out because I just had my sim playtesting it and I was moving things around. So you guys might have missed a little bit. Like I ended up putting this fish shack here. And so you guys didn't see that part, but it was just a small little section of it. I, I didn't want to include the whole playtesting aspect of it because it just, 
you know, it would add an additional like 10 to 15 minutes that really wasn't needed. And so you guys didn't miss much. You pretty much see now what you missed. And so I just put that little fish shack there and then I put a wall behind it. I wanted to make it look it, like it was built into the actual building. And so I tried my best. And so I just put like walls around it and I made sure that little door in the back was open. I wanted to put it straight into the corner and have like the back behind onto the wall, but then they would not be able to go inside of it. It would not be functional, so it would defeat the purpose. And so I came up with the idea of having like a little room back there. I guess that makes sense. I mean, you're, that's like real life. Someone that would be in a stall like this would have to get in somehow. They're not going to just appear, right? And so having like a room off to the back to actually have the person be able to walk through the door to go in the hallway to get into the little shack room I feel like that was kind of realistic and so and it looked good too yeah I'm very happy with the way that all these little shops turned down um, I have to think which one would be my favorite in the end I really am a sucker for that bar I think the bar turned out really cute and that orange one is going to be the clothing shop with all of like the clothing racks in there and stuff. I really wanted to make it look like a real beach pier shop. And so I added some like uh, those snowboards. I don't think they're skateboards. I think it's the snowboards um, that comes with like the fam the parenthood pack, I think. You know, those thing those ones on the wall there on the right side. I wanted to put them there like those would be for sale like pretend for sale because you know you can't really buy them and the actual gameplay unfortunately and that actually reminds me that I also tried to make this a retail store I, I can't remember if I mentioned that or not I tried to make this a retail store to see how that would work but I never played with retail in The Sims 4 and so I had no idea what I was doing to be honest <laughs> and so I don't know if you have to like own it yourself or if you go to a retail store and employees automatically spawn even if your sims don't own it I don't know how that works so if you guys download this and you test it out as retail I would be curious to know if it actually works or not I may or may not go testing it out myself we will see but as of right now I did not try too hard with the retail I just set it and then I don't remember what came of it I don't I don't know if I even gave it that big of a chance to be honest but um I it did cross my mind and especially when I pulled out that cash register there I don't I just put the cash register there for show I don't think it matters if it's there or not. I'm not sure why the person does not come for the thrift tea store with, or the thrift, yeah, the thrift tea shop. I don't know why the person doesn't come for the thrift counter. I have no idea. Um, it was quite disappointing though, but I wasn't going to change my mind on the Boba thrift shop because it's, you're, there will still have Sims coming in looking in the clothing racks. And I really liked the way that that looked in the gameplay. It, it turned out really good. And so if you guys downloaded it, I really hope you enjoy it as well. I spent some time on it. And even if you set it just as a beach lot type and you don't do it as the Boba thrift counter shop lot type thing, <laughs> Um, it, it should still be fun. It's, it's a cute little place to have your Sims come. And I'm also just trying to add like a bunch of decorations around just to make it look really filled up. And then I put like a little toy box there. It was for show, but you could also have like your toddler Sim come and grab a toy out and let them take it out on the beach or something like that. That was kind of my mind frame on it. And I had no idea what to put in the other corners. And so I put some like little of those stool like pluffs what do you call those puffs or you know the fluffy chairs the little like beanbag chairs I put some of those around and then that cute little egg chair I put around too and I'm just putting some posters and just trying to make it look very detailed and beachy and fun and I also put like a table behind the actual like counter where your sims in theory would check out with the clothes that they are buying 
and I put like some like knickknack stuff there. So just something for show. Obviously your Sims can't buy it unless you turn it into a retail. Then they would probably be able to buy it. But as a boba tea shop, it, they cannot buy it. And then I had to put a microphone somewhere. And so I just kind of stuck it in here in the boba shop. Um, I thought it made the most sense there. And I did not set any of the lot traits. And looking back now, I really want to make sure that I do that. I want to do definitely a teen hangout because this boba shop is giving me those vibes of like teens would love this little shop right here. And just the whole pier in general, I feel like it would be a teen hangout. And then probably sunny aspect or sun, something sunny. And I'll have to look at party place maybe. I think it would be fun to have like a party here. And I don't, oh no, I think looking back I forgot to add like radios in each of the little shops. I think I put it here in the boba shop, but I don't think I put it anywhere else. So I will have to go back and add the radios as well because it would be boring without any music here. It definitely looks like a place that a lot of music would be here. And I also thought about putting that little like stage thing. I think it came with City Living. It's like a little stage that you can have your Sim and I think random Sims will spawn there and use it as well, like townies. You can have your Sim actually go on there and play their guitar and maybe sing, I'm not sure about sing. And they would actually be able to earn tips and doing it that way. And I also added like a little tip jar thing on the boba counter. I just had that little idea. There's like a kit that comes with a little change jar with some receipts under it and so I thought it was a cute touch to put that on the boba counter for like a tip jar and this is the jewelry shop uh, your sim will not be able to buy anything out of here unfortunately unless you have your sim go behind the counter like I figured this would be something for you to have your sim actually make the jewelry and they could come here and sell it so maybe that could be like that their little job and I thought that was like a cute idea I kind of want to go testing that out to be honest and here I am here I just had to grab my sim again and bring them here so that I could download something off the gallery I downloaded this thing where like one of our fellow simmers put all of these hearts of Sulani's and the finger of Sulani's and these shells. They loaded them on the gallery, thank God, because I was trying to find them in the catalog and I could not find them anywhere. I'm not sure why they're not in the catalog. They used to be in the catalog. You could type in like the debug cheats and then you could look for the heart of Sulani and it would come up. I could have sworn it would. And unfortunately that is not the case anymore. And so I had to download it on the gallery. So thank God for you guys that download the stuff off the gallery or post the stuff on the gallery that we can download, us builders can download so that we don't have to fin for ourselves and pull it out of the game ourselves. So I really do appreciate that. And I know a lot of other builders do as well. And so I ended up pulling out those Sulan, the Heart of Sulani and stuff, and put it on the counter as well. And I put it in the case behind the counter. Like, I kind of figured that would be the area that was, like, expensive stuff that they didn't want anyone taking. And that right there I made into, it's supposed to be, like, a little dressing room. It's not a legit dressing room, obviously, but I wanted something that you're saying, in theory, we know it's supposed to be a dressing room. And you could have your sim in there and then like try changing probably. I couldn't fit any dresser in there, unfortunately, but that is what that's supposed to be. I kind of thought of the Sims 2 like little dressing rooms. That's what that reminded me of and that's the vibe I was going for anyways. And so here I am, I'm pulling out some other just miscellaneous things from the catalog that I thought would look cute in this little shop. This shop is not as cluttered as some of the other shops were. I didn't really know what to put in here. I was running out of ideas. Um, at the end of this, this was like, it took me days to finish this. I started it and then I didn't finish it for like a couple weeks because I paused in between. It didn't take me the whole two weeks, but 
it I like started it one day and then I just forgot about it kind of and I was got to working I got to not even play the Sims and so it took me a couple weeks later until I was able to come back and build it so I had to build this in segments it took quite a bit of time but I thought I think it turned out really cute and I hope you guys really enjoyed this speed build if you did then leave, make sure to leave a like so you can let me know that you enjoyed this I will definitely make more builds like this in the future and subscribe to my channel if you have not already and comment down below what your favorite part of this build is I am very curious and with all of that being said, I hope you all have a wonderful day or night, and I hope you enjoy the screenshots, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye, guys.